Peacekeeping for us has been, will continue to be, an integrator of Africa, an identifier of problems, a peace solution seeker. And therefore, we cannot say that we are not chuffed, we are not happy, we are not honored to have all of you under our roof, in our continent today. Our salute to the men and women who continue to avail themselves to come to us. Um, we also want to say that it, the traditional peacekeeping um, operations are at risk because we now have changing conflicts. We've got to be able to deal with improvised uh, explosive devices that we do not know. We've got to be able to provide digital technology to identify these threats. We've got to be able to deal with uh, fake news. We've got to be able to deal with misinformation and to find the right tools to enable the peacekeepers to keep safe, to keep healthy, and to keep their morals high. So for us, this symposium must focus us on these things that will enable us to really get to the end of what we are looking at. The creation of conditions that enable the peacekeepers to do that which they have been sent to do, but to take pride in the execution of their tasks, but also to ensure that they come back to families that are still united. In other words, it is not just about the technology, it is the ability of us as contributing to uh, countries in ensuring that we have enough resources to train and retrain so that we have enough um, spaces for the peacekeeper to also keep a healthy home situation. We're beginning to experience that, but we also want to say to the AU, South Africa is behind you all the way on the action for peace. We are resolved that we will support this. It talks to us in our pledge as Africa to our agenda 2063. It is talking to our commitment to silencing the guns. Uh, we're giving ourselves 2063 and the women of Africa are beginning in pay, to get impatient because 2063 is just too far. These wars are costing human lives, they're costing futures, they're costing this development for this continent. We want to say that we want to back the UN in all its efforts, but you will also be remiss if I am speaking in my name and of Minister Satabi here that we would like to see more happening on the floor of the United Nations itself. We would like to see more direct interventions, more direct understandings, and not just politics on the floor of the United Nations, because we think we can play politics in our countries. But there, we want to see humanity coming together and looking and focusing on human dignity, preservation of life all over. So we want to say that South Africa will continue to improve. We want to commit to that. We acknowledge our commitment has not always met the expectations, but we want to say to you, you USG, we have seen where we are lacking in South Africa. We are committed to correcting that. We will make sure that as we take more and more responsibility, we are on there. We are there and we do what we need to do. We want to say that uh, uh, South Africa will continue to look at pushing for deployment of women peacekeepers. For us, in every situation where women have been in greater numbers in the peacekeeping troops, we have seen better reception, better solutions, maybe slower in resolving issues, but better communities emerging from the deployment of women. So we're not just as a country and a continent going to say we're pushing for women in peacekeeping. We're also pushing for women in the leadership of the defenses, 
of the military, of the peacekeeping hierarchy, because we think therein lies the ability to negotiate, the ability to talk, and the ability to find uh, solutions. So if there is anything else that South Africa will push for is also to make sure that we consolidate on issues of occupational health and safety and make sure that as we send our troops, it is known, there is no tolerance in the South African National Defense Force of any de deployed peacekeeper to be in any way in the abuse of women because we want to kill that. We want to make sure that women in any occupation they face, in any situation, in any geographic space, are as equal and as at peace as any men. So we do not tolerate um, violence against women. We do not want to see exploitation of women. In fact, the Defense Force, since I became minister, are under notice that any peacekeeper found accused of violation of any woman will face the harshest sentence that our defense can meet. We want to say that that is our commitment, and we want to say that we would want to see the world getting a better place because the voice of women will always force us to do something that will help our countries. And therefore, we want to say this initiative um, has the blessings of our government, hopefully, of our continent. We do know that our brothers in the, in, the, in the region would have been here, our sisters would have been here, but for the circumstances that are prevailing in most of the region. But we know that they are here with us in spirit, and therefore, in the name of South Africa and in the name of the SADC Ministers of Defense, we welcome you here and we wish us a very good deliberations this week. Thank you very much. We have realized the need to expand our footprint beyond just the traditional troop, police and financial contributions to missions of the United Nations. But to harness indeed the use of technology and its innovative capacities to swiftly expedite, prosecute and deliver on peace and security mandates within limited loss of lives and less collateral damage. With the nature of conflict evolving faster than uh, conventional methods today and applications, we see the proliferation of modern technologies in the peacekeeping and peace support operations as inevitable. We therefore see the symposium as being at the core of information sharing in the field of technology for the general peace and security architecture with which nations are collaborating to curb dehumanizing instability facing many people in conflict across many countries.